And now some are calling for Governor Ducey to fire the man who runs Arizona's prison system, Chuck Ryan. And as our team coverage continues, Team 12's Bram Resnick joins us in the Studio 12A with a closer look at Ryan's troubled history at the head of the Department of Corrections. And Charles Ryan is a lifer in the prison industry. Supporters praise Arizona's corrections director as the right guy for a tough job. But Ryan has dodged several high-profile controversies over the last few years, from a botched execution to a prison riot. This is only the latest controversy. One of Jan Brewer's first acts as governor in 2009 was naming Charles Ryan to run the state's prisons. As corrections director, overseeing 42,000 inmates and 10 prisons, he controls 10 cents of every dollar the state spends. In recent years, Ryan has come under fire in controversies that have drawn national attention. Back in 2014, he ripped the media for its reporting on the gruesome two-hour-long execution of Joseph Wood. Reporters, Ryan said, reached the premature and erroneous conclusion that this execution was botched. A review found Ryan did nothing wrong, but there have been no executions in Arizona since Woods was put to death. In July of 2015, an inmate riot at a private prison in Kingman exposed gaps in Ryan's oversight. We are doing introspection to take a look at uh, expanding or modifying our approach to private operations. The prison operator was fired. Ryan accepted no blame. In June of 2018, in a less public but very expensive court case, a federal judge ordered Ryan to pay a $1.4 million fine. The judge ruled that Ryan never took seriously a court settlement to improve the sorry state of prison health care. Ryan is appealing. Governor Doug Ducey has stood by Ryan. The latest controversy over prison cells whose locks don't work might test the governor's support. Ducey's office had this to say. There is zero excuse for anything that compromises public safety. An environment that poses a threat to the safety of either correctional officers or inmates is unacceptable and must be addressed immediately. And as you already heard, the governor enlisted two former Arizona Supreme Court justices to investigate. His office also says he's deployed professionals in his administration to ensure the Department of Corrections is taking action immediately. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thank you.